Hi there. If you work hot glass, you will encounter a compatibility issue with the COE. Uh, it's just inevitable. Although you might be buying 104, well, your glass isn't always 104. It might be a little lower and it might be a little higher. Now, if the differential between the two is high enough, you'll get cracks. Crazy cracks. Not just straight cracks down the center, but cracks a little bit here, a little bit there, or just all over, smashing, falling apart. Um, depending upon the differential of COE between one or more types of glass within that object you've created. Well, how do you find out um, if two kinds of glass have a close COE or close enough to be compatible for sure? Well, you can do a stringer test and you can use this test to um, problem solve any issues that you have come up in your work from here on out. As long as you know this simple little way compare two kinds of glass to one another. Um, the Stringer test has been around for uh, quite a while. I've heard about it talked to you about here and there, but I've never seen a video for it. So that's what I'm doing today is I'm preparing something so that you will be able to visually see, oh, now I get it, and I can do that. So you're going to simply see me take two kinds of glass, two suspect kinds of glass, and uh, melt them into a little gather, and then pull that gather straight straight, no twisting, just nice and straight, straight as I can, because I want I want to have any curvature be the glass as it cools, pulling on the two different kinds. The curvature that might be there or not is going to tell me that there is a big or a small differential of COE between the two kinds of glass. Now, let's go see what happens. Now, I'm using white and cobalt here for the first example, and I'm just heating up the ends, getting a couple of gathers that are of the same size, and I'm going to put them together. I'm not going to mix them, I just want them to come together and be fully joined. Do a little heat, and then I'm going to grab a, a little piece of stringer that I will pull these into a straight line with. So I'll give it a little wide footprint for that, attach it, and uh, now I'm just going to take what was heated up in a little of blue, a little of white, and I'm pulling it into a, a very thin stringer that's probably 18 inches. And cut it off, cut it off, and now I'm going to do the same thing I just did with a color combination that I know is no good. That if I made something out of this, it would crack. It's a black vetrofond and ivory. However, the batch of black that I got a while ago, maybe a couple years ago, uh, there was just something odd about it. And uh, it caused my beads to crack anywhere from when they came out of the kiln to a week or two later. And uh, it was very upsetting. And now I just have this black sequestered and I don't use it for anything other than something that was all black. And I only use it with itself. Because um, I haven't found anything that it really works well with. So I'll pull that into a nice thin stringer. And then I'm going to Cut it with the flame. Okay, this is how you want to examine your results. Is you take your stringers and you line them up with a piece of paper and you see what the deflection is of the curvature. And uh, you can also see which one has a higher COE. Whichever one is on the inside of the curvature is going to have the higher COE. Now, I've got a ruler right here. It indicates um, the deflection. Uh, the curvature over one foot, and right here the black and ivory are reading at about three quarters of an inch, and the other one is just over one quarter of an inch. Now, this range here, one quarter of an inch, it's going to be fine for you, but something like this one here, three quarters of an inch, I guarantee you, you'll have issues with using those two colors together. So find another color that um, will bring that 
COE differential down and you'll be okay. There's nothing more disheartening to a bead maker than to open their kiln and see their work has cracks in it, or worse yet, that their work cracks a week later or two weeks later. You know, what if I heard delivered that uh, might be uh, having a problem that the, my customers might not be happy with? Well, all of that concern can be alleviated by using the stringer test. It's quick, it's easy, and it's really telling of what's going on between the differential of the COE between two different kinds of glass, two different colors, two different brands, whatever. Um, if you're also interested in finding out, you know, is there another test for other things about glass that is equally easy? Well, check out my flow rating test to find out what the differential of flow is between two kinds of glass to see why one glass might be swallowing another glass when you put a dot over it, then it just disappears into the other. Well, that's a problem with flow. And I have another test that will help you with that too. Check it out on my YouTube channel. See ya.